Arthur Zimmerman and Trump. I was um, thinking um, about um, the three stages of the Trump phenomenon. Um, at the first level, I think one needs to be blind, uneducated or just interested in the tax cuts he, he says he will uh, apply. And he will because he will benefit also. Um, and it seems that people who like this man uh, don't see, are ignorant, or they're in the same mold of narcissistic, uh, um, aggressive personality, Mexicans like rapists, and grab women by the pussy and so on. Um, but then there's a, 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 a different, a second level when, uh, where educated people have been marching throughout America and other places in, in demonstration against the Donald. Uh, at this stage, one understands the risk, one sees this is a narcissistic, selfish, vain, uh, a man who didn't really do much even in business, he just uh, abused so many others. Small businesses went dead um, in his path because he didn't pay. He's suing everything and everyone and he's making stakes, Donald, the, the Trump stakes. And, and his empire is disorganized. And uh, as the economy points out, he, he, it's a very serious danger because he, 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 if he thinks he can go in politics and in the world as for a deal and uh, threatening to do something and then uh, just thinking the price will come down. This is no way to go into the South China Sea where China has these plans and in other places. This, this is not a question of price. This is the, 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 the end game may be war. In sense. It's not you walk out and you can't walk out from some areas. Or if you do, the consequences are disastrous for the world and then America. But anyway, uh, there may be a third uh, I was thinking, stage. That's the stage of the serene people. Of course, Nirvana, Buddhists, and, uh, philosophers, men who reach the blissful ultimate state of happiness, they don't, they, they see this as, you know, ups and downs, uh, the, the famous uh, little story from uh, uh, the end of uh, Charlie Wilson's War told by Felix Samuel Hoffman, uh, this uh, oriental Chinese, from maybe, probably, uh, the villagers uh, come, keep coming to him with either bad or good opinions. Uh, his horses run away. Oh, it's so bad for you. We shall see. Uh, a couple of horses come back with wild horses. Oh, it's so good for you. Now you have 20 horses. We shall see. His son falls from the horse. Oh, it's so bad. We shall see. The army doesn't take the son. And so on and so on. So it's, we shall see. Same thing with apply for Trump. We shall see. Maybe he goes to war, but we shall see. I'm just joking, of course. Uh, and, in the end, uh, you do not know, so that's the third stage, you, you don't know. War itself, there's a great book by Ian Morris, War, what is it good for? Uh, because the, the, the common uh, wisdom uh, says that war is good for nothing, war is just for, well, if you read the book, you see that with war, some serious things happened and changed. Uh, and um, ending up with uh, Arthur Zimmerman, some people, uh, maybe the Donald, do change history in unexpected ways. Uh, the Zimmerman sent letters to uh, 
Mexico to the president to try and invade the, the U.S. Anyway, what he wanted is a distraction because the German submarines started attacking American ships in order to uh, uh, to block as much as possible of the trade for their enemy, uh, Great Britain at the time. And he wanted the distraction for the U.S. so that they would not uh, fight Germany on account of those submarines attacking their ships. And then, uh, the, what worked was he, he, uh, he managed to get America into war and uh, had, they say, a little role to play in making America the international superpower. And at the same time, nearly, he had this idea with uh, Lenin going into a locked train into Russia so that Russia would go out of the war, which in the end happened. And indeed the poison sent into, into the heart of Russia worked. Lenin became um, the leader of a communist country and superpower as Russia today.